showed me the pictures of Edward's body from the shot. At first, we didn't know anything about why my brother had been shot. And then about a week later, a letter arrived at a news agency claiming responsibility, and they had sent in his ID card. This is where we come from, from the brainwashing of the media, from consumerism, from all the exploited peoples who are oppressed by imperialism. If the police fire on us again, we will shoot back. People feel there's nothing to be done about the situation, but the struggle has begun. To me, the Red Army faction was just a bunch of monsters. They were just horrible, horrible, subhuman people. And I had no problem in the beginning saying they should all just be lined up and shot. I was 15 when my brother died, so I've lived most of my life without him in it. And I've come to the point where I want to have a different relationship to former members of the Red Army faction. I'm not satisfied with the resolution provided to us by the criminal justice system, in which we are all supposed to go our separate ways. You to prison, my family to our invisible grief on the outside. I think that is incorrect and counter to the sort of world I want to live in. Ich kann nicht bereuen. Bereuen ist kein politischer Begriff. Verstehst du? Was ich gemacht habe, habe ich gemacht. Ich kann sagen, es war falsch. Entschuldigung, ich kann sagen, es war falsch. Das kann ich sagen. Aber ich kann es doch nicht bereuen. Dann legiere ich mich doch selbst. When people kill each other, I hear the same story over and over again. Someone goes to prison. And then usually what happens is that the surviving family members kind of disappear. And so I just want a different story. <laughs>